Growing up in the Philippines, I would help my mom cook Filipino food. Later on, when I became vegan, I learned that Filipino food can still be vegan without losing its soul. I wanted to share this discovery with family, friends, and with you. Kain na! Let's eat! Whenever there's a special occasion, my family and I celebrate it with festive Filipino food, including Filipino spaghetti. We enjoy Filipino spaghetti at birthdays, fiestas, and at Christmas Eve or Noche Buena. Unlike the Italian version, Filipino spaghetti is sweet and savory. Its main component is ground beef, but I will show you a way to veganize it without having to compromise taste and texture. It's very possible and I will show you how. Here's what we'll need. For the meat of the sauce, 12 ounces of extra firm tofu. This one is hot soy. I froze it. So freeze it for at least four hours or overnight. Three vegan hot dogs, thinly sliced. I got both of them at my neighborhood grocery store, Rainbow Grocery in San Francisco. Four to five tablespoons of refined coconut oil. Refined means there's no coconut smell or flavor. Three to five tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using here canola oil. For the sauce itself, five cloves of garlic, peeled, crushed, and minced, a cup of roughly chopped yellow onion, a cup of roughly chopped celery, a cup of roughly chopped carrots, one half cup of roughly chopped red bell pepper, seeds removed, of course, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, few pinches of natural sugar. I say natural or you can use evaporated cane sugar because white sugar, unfortunately, is not always vegan. The natural sugar is slightly brown uh, and it's basically cane sugar without having to go through the refining process. A tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of sweet pickle relish, four tablespoons of maple syrup. If you're watching your glucose level or your sugar intake, you may use stevia. Three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of non-dairy milk. I'm using here soy milk. Four cups of tomato sauce. And of course, for the pasta, a pound of spaghetti pasta. This is optional for the garnish, for the topping. One fourth cup grated vegan cheddar cheese. All right, so let's get cooking. But first, let me show you why I chose freezing the tofu. It will have that spongier, chewier texture that is very similar to ground beef. And let me cut this to pieces so I can show you. Cut this in half diagonally so I can show you here how much spongier it is. And then put them in the food processor, crumble it that way. Now the tofu is all crumbled up. It looks like this pan is hot enough, so we're gonna go ahead and get to frying. Refined coconut oil in there. Fry the tofu. To successfully fry tofu, make sure the oil is very hot and do not overcrowd the pan. So as you could see, you have that nice golden hue there. Okay, so we got the tofu out here and now it's time to fry the other meat of the spaghetti, which is the hot dog. We have the, um, the heat under low setting so they're not gonna burn. Now we'll add the hot dogs here. Depending on the brand of the hot dog, you may wanna add salt. Filipino spaghetti calls for Filipino hot dogs and Filipino hot dogs are usually red in color and they're sweet. They're a little sweeter than the American version. But it seems like because the vegan hot dogs are the American version, the American flavor, I'm gonna add just a few pinches of natural sugar around to have that same taste that 
Filipinos love so much about Filipino hot dogs. This one is vegan. Okay, looks like they're done. Turn off the heat and we'll transfer it alongside fried tofu. This is my mom's version and the base for her sauce are all these kinds of vegetables that are beautiful and colorful. The carrots, celery, onions, and bell pepper. And the traditional cut is finely minced. Now, it will dramatically save us time if we use a food processor. So what I did here, just roughly chop them and then combine them in food processor. And you can, if you only have a small, small food processor, just do it in batches. And that's what we're gonna do. This is the texture that we're going for. As you could see, it's finely, finely minced. So far, so good. We'll heat the pan here to medium heat. Start with the garlic. For about a good 20 seconds there. Add the minced vegetables. Add the sweet pickle relish. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. About three pinches. And a big pinch of pepper, about two. Pour the maple syrup. Pour the soy sauce. Pour the tomato sauce. Add tomato paste. Pour non-dairy milk. Add the meat of the sauce, fried tofu and fried hot dogs. About five minutes. And I have been checking it every minute just to make sure that nothing sticks on the bottom of the pan and mixing it. And it looks like it's all done. Now it's time to taste my favorite part. Let's just add a little bit here. Mmm. The sweetness and the, and the savoriness of it, of the sauce, and of course the texture of the fried tofu is there. There's some chewiness and resistance that is great as a replacement for ground beef. And now it's time to cook the other part of the dish, the pasta. After all, it won't be Filipino spaghetti without the spaghetti. Right here. And we have a pot of hot water. Turn back the heat on so just we can boil the water. This is an oath. Add salt to season the water. And once it's boiling, I'm gonna add the pasta now. Here. This takes about 10 minutes of just stirring gently. So I drained the pasta once it's cooked, it looks like this. And I also tried it to make sure it has the right texture. So once again, it's not too firm or not even al dente, but it's not mushy either. Let's make it pretty. Filipino spaghetti is known for its sweet meat in the sauce and not skimping on it. So make sure you apply a lot of it on top of the pasta. Now it's done and ready to be enjoyed. But if you want it to be extra festive, then feel free to garnish it with vegan cheddar cheese. This goes great for kids' parties. My nephews and nieces go crazy over it. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to 
go crazy over it as well. And as you could see, the process is really simple, but the result could impress even the biggest meat eaters, which could come in handy, especially if your special occasion is a good mix of meat eaters, vegetarians, and vegans. This way, you have a dish that everyone can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching for the full vegan Filipino spaghetti recipe and other delicious vegan Filipino recipes. Just go on stigvegan.com. I'm also on social media and I would love to see you there, connect with you there. Thanks so much. My name is RG at Vegan, letting you know that Filipino food can be vegan, healthy, and delicious without losing its soul. Kaina, let's eat!